We do have the wetlands to do. And we still have we still have underdark stuff to do. And we have the and we have to find the crash. So I kind of want to Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. Um just to just to give you a, a flavor of what we were up to. What what, we, what I what I was up to offline, we'll we'll loop around this way. I mean, I but but I guess the the difference is that from my perspective, illustrious, the the difference between creativity and plagiarism is is hard to detect as as an individual, right? Like, if if the AI comes up with some incredible way for a wish spell or, you know, like, I don't, I don't even know what other, uh, what other spells are. But if, if the AI can produce something that to you feels novel, then, you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of winning the day. To recover, but you've helped us take the first step. Good deal. I want to trade. So, so this guy... This guy received a lot of the garbage that we had in our inventory, as a side note. Um, so that's that's what we were up to. But let's see. So so I, I kind of want to do confront the paladins. I kind of want to do that with Carlatch. But that does mean gearing, gearing her up, which we have not done to date. I think we talked to all of you, or most of you. Seems like a good moment to talk. We will talk to Torin. We are still animal speaking. Fate running off like you did. Glad I was wrong. Yeah, I'm happy to have helped. What's going on, Bordox? But the road would not be the same without them. All uh all all cows are uh are clearly clearly friendly. So let's see. So let's maybe what we do is we we hit ourselves with a cut here. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the camp for a second. And we're just going to see what... Uh, we're going to, for the moment, let Lazel... Uh, oops, that's not the that's not the ungroup that I wanted. I'm going to go let Lazel chill for a second. And we're going to bring Carlatch to, to the Paladins. Carlatch I want to try it out. of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all... She speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. On it. On it. Wait for me in camp. You believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not keep me waiting. Nice hat, by the way. Very cool. What can I do you for? Let's see. How did you end up fighting the Blood War? In your expert opinion, what is the best way to kill to kill a devil? This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? About those paladins. Uh, you want us? Uh, those paladins you want us to yeah. confront? Yeah. Tell me. Let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's Whoops. nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress up as paladins of Tear. No honor among devils. Okay, come on, we're headed go, out. Go, go, go. All right, so let's let's see what her deal is, because this is uh, this is a new one. So we got an axe, we got barbarian clothes. What is uh? What's the story? I don't I don't really know how to build a barbarian. So what kinds of stuff do you have right now? You do have improvised melee weapon, which I hear is a thing. You have thromaturgy. Gain advantage on intimidation performance checks. I wouldn't mind that on uh, on Isaac. At some point, maybe we want to figure out how to get that. But let's see. So let's see. You got you got some intimidation checks, some survival checks. You're a bit of a dum dum. You're very strong.
Okay, well, let's, let's do some level ups and, and learn what we can about her. So right off, right off the cuff, she gets Danger Sense. Since when something is not as it should be, you have advantage on dexterity saving throws against trap spells on surfaces. To gain this benefit, you can't be blinded or incapacitated. And then you have Reckless Attack. Until your next turn, you have advantage on attack rolls, but enemies also have advantage against you. Okay, so standard kind of like glass cannony type of thing. You also have... Okay, so unarmored defense. Uh, this body is as resilient as any armor. While not wearing armor, you can add your constitution modifier to your armor class. Relatively high constitution. You have dark vision. You have hellish resistance. You have uh, resistance to fire. And then we just got danger sense. Okay. It's a pretty straightforward first level. So, wild heart subclass. So... Your attunement with nature and its beasts inspire your rage, empowering you to supernatural to supernatural might. You get speak with animals, which I wanted, and then you also get passive bestial heart. Choose your bestial heart. You can change your heart whenever you level up. So bear heart. While raging, uh, you can use unrelenting ferocity. Let's hit T. Okay, so it gives you a heal to muster up your stamina. You have resistance to all damage except that. While, while raging, you have Divine Strike. Leap down unto a foe, knocking them prone. You won't take falling damage. You must be above the target. Okay, that seems hard to do. Primal Stampede. Charge forward, attacking all enemies in the way, possibly knocking them prone. And you get increased movement speed. We'll, uh, we'll gear her up in a second, Treasure. While raging, you can use Tiger's Bloodlust, and your jump distance is increased. Okay, and Tiger's Bloodlust. Lash out to attack your enemies up to three at once and make them bleed. Or you have Wolf Heart, Inciting Howl. Each ally within earshot can move an additional three meters. Okay, so that's if we go Wild Heart. There's also Berserker, which gets Frenzy. Your range turns into Frenzy. You gain Frenzy Strike and Enraged Throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. I was thinking we could have her throw stuff. And then Wild Magic. So th this one is violence and is both a means and an end. You follow a path of untrammeled fury, slick with blood, as you thrill in the chaos of battle, heedless of your own well-being. Could be interesting. And then wild influence of magic has transformed you, suffusing you with arcane power that churns within you, waiting to be released. Enter a rage that releases all the magic roiling inside you, causing random magical effects. You have resistance to physical damage and advantage on strength checks and saving throws. And magic awareness. I kind of think the berserker sounds like my, uh, my cup of tea, so we'll go with that. We also get uh, Legacy of Vernus, Searing Smite. And then new class feature, Additional Rage Charge. You can now rage more times per long rest. Okay. Now we get a feat. I, I kind of want her to throw stuff. And and there's a there's a good ability for for people who throw stuff. Tavern brawler. So we gain we gain a point in strength or constitution, but I think we'll go strength. And when you make an unarmed attack, uh, or use an improvised weapon or throw something, your strength modifier is added twice to the d damage of the attack roll. That sounds pretty bonkers. I feel like. So let's let's try that out. God, she has, a, she has a lot of hit points. So she gets an extra attack. Can make an extra uh, additional free attack after making an unarmed or weapon attack. If you gain the extra attack feat from more than one class, they don't add. And your movement is increased by three. And then for our race, we also pick up Branding Smite.
Okay, but now we now we have to figure out. Oops, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to make her hide. So I think we have. I think we have some gear that might be good on her. So for instance, she's rocking a great axe, which is a two-handed. Now if we come over here, all of our magical items are in here. So in the in the before times, we picked up Soro, which seems like it's it's right up her alley. So we'll grab that. Then we have these bracers of defense. So become the bulwark. You gain plus two armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. That seems like a thing that's great for her. Oh, but we also have the Gloves of Uninhibited Kashigo. The wearer deals damage. Gloves and bracers are the same no, slot, right? Uh, let's see. Inventory? C can you open your inventory, please? All right, thank you. So let's see. So we give her Soro, for sure. So now she has this big, long, stabby device. And then we can either get her up to 15 AC, which is a lot of AC, to be sure. Or we can make her throwing better. Let's try making her throwing better. I think 13 AC might be okay. Now let's see. All of these armors are... are armors, which she is not proficient with. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum. That's not going to do anything for us. We could potentially go with that, or we could go with Animal Friendship. Yes, Illustrious, there, there is. Uh, there is indeed a Monk class. So we'll grab the Spear, which is a Throne Weapon. Anything else? So I, I don't think any of the armor she can wear. Wait, this is on- this is clothing. Grievous Retribution. When an enemy damages the wearer, the wearer gains wrath for one turn. Can you wear this without losing anything? Looks like you can. Okay, that's good. Then Boots of Striding or Line Breaker Boots. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain two wrath. Or, when you cast a spell... We, we're not really doing concentration, but I do like the athletics for her. We'll go with, we'll go with these boots for now. Now, we want to have some throwing stuff, and I, I save some stuff. I would like to get the stuff off Lazel, which I don't, I don't know if we can do that, but we can grab, like, a few spears here so that she just has some for, for tossing. I don't know what we want to do about a ranged weapon here. Great sword versus Soro. We'll go with Soro for now. So wait, what was I? These are javelins, five to ten. Oh, the spears are slightly more more valuable. Okay, we'll go. We'll go with that. She has she has quite the arsenal now for us to at least try on. Did we have a helmet that we could give her? I wish, I really, really wish that, that they would uh, come up with a way for those not to show up behind. So let's see. Medium armor. When healing another, the wearer regains one to six hit points. This is pretty interesting, but it does not work for her right now. Okay. I, I think that's that's good enough for us to at least try her out. So... And then the only thing that I wanted to do was, is there any way that I can... I can't get the spears out of Lazel. Hold on. So we'll we'll try it this way. We will... Let's, let's see if we can just quickly uh, stay behind a camp for now. Yes. Hopefully that doesn't make anyone pissed off. But we have, we have a couple of better throwing items. Uh... And, and I don't think there's a way that I can access her inventory to get these out. Oh yeah, what, what was this? The color spray ring? 
For now, we can put that there. These should just get thrown away. But yeah, now we can pick up the Watcher's Guide and the Vision of the Absolute. We can also fish these out. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to come over here really quickly and we're just going to dump some stuff. And then we'll uh, we'll get back on the road. Oh shoot, I need to I need to now unfollow her. The swapping people in and out of your party, I think they could have uh have yet... he... Shook. You believe you as you said. The, the, I wish there was an easier way to do that. What can I do you for? Let's go. All right, so let's see. So we can give that to Carlach and that to Carlach. So now we have lots of thrown things. We're going to try doing this whole throwing thing. We'll see how it goes. And then I'm just going to dump some some heavyweight garbage out. So let's see. Scrolls. Is this the scrolls one? Yes. So those go in there. I like this hat, even though it makes us a dum-dum. So I'll do that. And then these rings... Yeah, this is this is our garbage chest. So we can toss all that stuff there. And then Yeah, we could definitely do some science with a monk though. Uh oh, those those apparently can't transfer in. Some lucky vendor is gonna get uh, is gonna get the hookup. Okay, so let's see. So all of this. Can transfer over to there. No one back home will ever believe this. And then The, the inconsistency of not being able to drag stuff is, is a very frustrating dynamic. But all the books and the bedrolls can go in there. I don't know about these bottled eyes. We got some weird stuff from Nettie's shop that I don't want to immediately toss out. But most of this... is just garbage. Garbage is worth a little bit though, for sure. All right. So until we figure out what's going on with this stuff, I'll, I'll toss that there. I do have one chest here. That's full of all the really curious things that we found. So, like, for instance, we found this toad teapot. Like, what the heck? <laughs> right? I feel like a bottled eye fits into that same category. Uh, let's see. We'll toss that there until we figure out what to do with it. Gems go here. I'm not sure. I really wish I knew why sometimes it, it rejected things. But there we go. All right. Now we're good to go. Let's leave camp. And we'll uh, we'll see how, how Carlatch does as we head. I guess I guess Blighted Village is our nearest uh, our nearest fast travel. Flowers. Grass. I was raised in the city. Can't beat it. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones up. Let's see, we want to go north. Before I went to so. Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like Baldur's Gate, is there? Don't waste a step. That is Nothing that is indeed the uh that is indeed the reality. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, we're just we're stepping over that grease. So grease apparently lasts forever, which I think is uh is slightly OP. Oh, we can't go around this way. All right, we'll go this way. Which probably means we're going to have to walk through the grease again here. This certainly doesn't seem like the most efficient way to get over to here, is it? 
Okay, guess guess it's pretty good. What's in here? Always doing spot checks to see if uh if there's anything we've uh we've missed. But the idea here is just that hopefully including Carlatch in the uh in the quest to to kill the paladins will be uh will be good for business. Wait. What uh what what happened to you, my dude? Wow. Just just decided not to climb down the uh Oh, I don't want everyone to jump back over. All right, you guys all wait over there. What happened to our rogue is a uh, mystery of the universe. At least things have stayed interesting. All right, back to it. So let's see. So we're going to be taking kind of the right side. Here, give me one second here. Hold on. What's so funny? You haven't got some laughing curse, have you? <laughs> I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. Right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous <laughs> enough without your hyena call. <laughs> I, I do like that little bit of flavor. Ah, uh, yes, here was our recent slaughter. Right, I think I, I think I was pretty... Ooh, almost missed a hyena here. So let's see, so we're gonna keep going to the right and then find this bridge. Now, oh, I just remembered. The place where we found her, there was like a, there was a key and a dude's body somewhere over here, wasn't there? Like, before we go up that way, a lot of dead knolls, a lot of milk cans, too. So we found her down here. So I think we want to start by going down here. Yeah, see, there was the, the toll collector. And did we pick up the key that was down here? I think we did. Oh, okay, we can definitely talk to him. If we want to, I'm, not, I'm seeing a lot of a lot of stuff here. All right, let's see. What's next? Okay, so you speak to dead on this guy. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll go with, do you have any valuables? Because they're the toll Gold collector. Basement. Locked. Okay. Basement. Love to hear it. Uh, we, we got the toll house key, I think, already. Uh, how did you die? To escape. Broken. I fell. Dropped key. Okay. We, we already knew that. I think we've already got the key. So. Where were you headed? Anywhere. Away. Safety. Okay. Well. Vance. Toll collector. We figured that out from the fact that when we moused over you, you said it said toll collector. The spell's power works. You can ask no more questions. Okie doke. All right, so let's see. So right now, there's like some under area, and then there's like some climbing up that we can do. And we've got. I don't. Do I see bad guys in there? There's like a there's like a tiny space here where I can kind of see it. All right, let's let's oh my let's uh, let's sneak for a second and let's uh, let's start progressing upwards. 
Reminds me of a meme where the necromancer was a prosecutor. I raised the victims to testify in the case. That's a, I love that. That's that's good stuff. All right. So this is this is all new to us. A little, Just another crate. A little water never hurt anybody. So let's see. So we may be able to get the the jump on them if there are people in here by going up here. Oh. Well, that's the other option. Okay. Uh, <laughs> someone just walks out the door. Amazing. There's a baguette over here. Amazing. Well, let's talk to let's talk to you. Keep that beast away from us. You hear? Me, the beast. Now that's fucking rich. Okay. So maybe maybe this would go better if on, you were go. out of the room. Marching. What to do? Back, beast, back. We're still hiding. Uh, okay, so maybe we need to come back with her not here. Stop stop trying to hide. I'm not trying to do that. Okay, so let's see. So all of this is all of this is up for looting. Ooh, a new loot. Haven't seen that one before. Okay, there's a burlap sack behind the Ooh, there's a soul coin somewhere. Where the heck is that? That that may be in the next room. So I, I'm wondering if we need to come back without Carlatch. That would be ironic. Because I was trying to... Wait, is the burlap, the burlap sack back here? Where the heck is the burlap? Oh, it's up on the... Wait. Okay, I guess we can do that. The burlap sack is, like, only visible... Oh wait, is this the burlap sack? Rotten carrot, my favorite. Ooh, a trident. I think we're I think we can throw tridents too. Incidentally. Wait, it still says soul coin. Is that upstairs? I think that might be upstairs. Always good to have a few extra sacks around. So I think we've almost done everything there is to do in here. We'll uh, we'll send we'll send stuff back to uh, to camp real quickly here. There we go. Okay, so we, we get to talk to this guy, I guess. I what the but I'm a little worried that we can't talk to her. I'm a little annoyed that we don't have a persuasion check on, on the lady who's clearly racist. Uh, who are you? Infernal. So long I forgot. Okay. Why? Hmm. Interesting. Zariel's brute destroyed me. Zariel's brute, interesting. The pact power. The pact power is very cryptic, to say the least. Uh 
uh, a pact which devil Fallen. Lady Zarya. why would you sign a pact with the devil Our fair enough fair enough the spell's power wanes. you can ask no more questions hmm so that didn't that didn't inform us too terribly much I don't feel like so, okay, so there's a door here. Moving you outside didn't really do any good. I've got a long road ahead. Some rotten cheese, the dream. Oh, goodies in there. Okay, so there's more there's more folks in here. I may hold off on that room for a second. I'm very I'm a little confused. One day I'll catch I cuz I I suspect those might be the paladins. Let's go upstairs really quickly here. So there's the soul coin. A pleasurable deal. There's a book hidden here. Let's read the book. Okay, let's see. I will... Let's unlink. Anything to gain from coming up here? Can I drop a bomb down the uh, down the chimney? I don't actually know if these are the paladins. It looks like this this is the paladin place. Leave no leave no plate unlooted. Worse than gnolls out there. Nothing we need to worry about. How about a dragon? Would that worry you? I'd give it a bloody good fight, that's for sure. <laughs> Only thing you give a dragon is bad gas. At ease, friend. You're welcome to rest here. I kind of like Anders, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the only thing you would give a dragon oh, is no bad moment. gas. That's that's pretty poetic. Let's see. We we do have a large fire thingy that we can drop on people's heads if we so desire. All right. So so far it it seems like Please. Okay. No more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. Hmm. Insight check is is a bummer. Uh So let's see. You'll need to convince me you're not who she says you are. Uh, Carlatch, these people seem harmless. Uh, you can drop the act. We'll try the insight check. Assess his posture and eyes. He see like, I read him as, as truthful at the moment. Let's try this. Man. If we had our intelligence, we would have been okay. I, I should have cast Guidance. Uh, we'll use Inspiration. We have a fair number of them. We're trying to get some insights, indeed. Okay. There's something in the squint of his eye. Oh. I suspect he's lying. Uh, okay. I think enough of this charade. I, I know who you really are. Enough. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore, Karlak. You're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Okay. 
I'm gonna... This was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Ooh, I'm glad we brought her. That's quite a, that's quite a line. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So, first thing I want to try... Okay, so first we have you. Uh, let's see. You take damage if you jump. I think we still do it. We could mist walk, but I think that's like uh unnecessary. Any if if we get to you, do we get advantage? We don't. There we go. At least that way we get an attack of opportunity if she tries to run. Whoa! Hello. That was, that was a big first hit there. I'll do the opportunity attack. I moved here specifically for this reason. Oh, good, good effort. Wow. Okay, a lot, a lot of action going on. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna bardically inspire. Ah, Shadow Heart. Not really who I want to bardically inspire. I was thinking we could get some healing off, but... Ooh, 10 and a miss, but we, uh, they did succeed on the concentration saving throw. And then we can, we can still do an offhand crossbow shot, which I really like, actually. That's pretty decent. Okay, so let's see. So you... So we can click throw, and then we have a whole bunch of things in our inventory we can throw. We won't throw sorrow. Let's throw... So this one is Death's Promise. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains true strike. Let's try that one first. Why is the path interrupted? I don't understand. Help. <laughs> okay. Uh, looks like we get we get a second throw in, and this one will have true strike. So maybe we, we just try throwing a a trident. That looks like it did. That didn't do 141, did it? Hold on. How much how much damage did that just do? 11, 4, and 2. Wow. That's a lot of damage. We're not uh, we're not usually doing that much damage. All right, let's see. And then... We don't need to do Sorrowful Lash, so I'll just move over this way. Okay, she's coming in from the other room. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, she's running? Oh, no, she's going upstairs. Okay. What the, what the what? That guy just hit me for 19 times two? <laughs> Take your Goodness gracious. I guess I, I shouldn't have focused on the ad. Uh, seems legit, I mean, certainly does. Let's see, are we just gonna... Maybe maybe we use one Spirit Guardian one here. Oh, what? Good, good hit. Uh, I'll do sneak attack because we have that that option, and he should be silenced now. All right, welcome welcome back, my dude. Uh, I, I think I I just need to use my bonus action to get a bit more healing going here, so we don't we don't get caught in a death loop. 
This one, this one blinds if it hits. I think. Oh, okay. Looking, looking good. Maybe just a regular spear. Okay. Well, that that went quicker. She's she's hitting really hard. Now we still have we still have one more to take care of here. Obviously, she's gonna come in, and we're gonna have to figure it out. There's no way we can jump up here, right? Oh, and the ladder is gone? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I assume moving underneath her this way doesn't get us that, that damage. Um, if we... If we cunning action dash, or actually maybe we do the primary action because she seems to be a spellcaster, so maybe getting an offhand attack on her is better. I, I don't think we make it all the way up even with the dash. Let's, let's see. Let's see how far, how much ground we can cover here. It's a surprising amount of distance. We'll, we'll get her so that someone is standing next to her at least. So much for peace. I'm gonna use my hand crossbow shots because if they. Where's where's my oh I don't have an offhand crossbow okay never mind I guess I shot both of them there let's see and then we will throw this wait can you really not okay you can jump to here which will hopefully give us the a line of sight here That's it. oh my gosh the damage is off the charts. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Carlisle just seems to have had a rough time. Um, let's say Zeriel. Well, we could do tear this place apart, but uh, let's say Zeriel won't get near you again. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> oh. Slightly unstable, it seems. To keep raging, you have to attack an enemy or take damage. Okay, so everyone should be coming in this way. We have... Whoa, what? Oh, okay, she's going on a... She's, she's knocking the place down. Okay. I guess we should we should loot while we have a moment. <laughs> Sword of Justice. Interesting. Okay, yeah, she's just Oh no, I'm lighting myself on fire trying to make sure that we uh we get everything cuz she's going she's going bananas and we don't have a lot of uh Please don't die. Okay, this potion here. Let's have someone else do the looting. Because she's just she's just losing it completely. Uh, well, I'm super glad I brought her. This has been very uh, very entertaining. Wow, three scrolls of revivify on her. I wonder if she would have uh, she would have brought back the other folks. That's interesting. So we're still looking for a basement. Okay, the, the place is no longer on fire, which is a nice thing. Time to rest. We do need to talk to her, but I, I think first we... No, never mind. 
send those over to you. Lots of garbage that can be sent to places. She's dancing a little jig in the background there as we go. Maybe I need more pockets. Okay, burlap sack with nothing in it. Traveler's Guide to the Sword oh, Coast. Doesn't strike me as particularly important. It's a desk and there's some writing materials. I don't know if we found a basement. Can't reach the large bottle, that's okay. She's torn the place asunder. We still need to find a basement, for sure. I love that the battlefield is just strewn with, uh, with tridents. Let's see, did we get you? Nope. Gotta take all your stuff. Okay, so this was the Order of the Gauntlet. Okay. Oh, Household Prayer. We'll read that. Okay, that's the standard Household Prayer. Swift as ah, there's the wooden hatch. Okay, so we will... There's nothing left for Anders. What am I to do? We can... Got to keep moving. Let's uh, let's change our appearance here, and let's uh, let's talk to this guy. See what he has to say about himself. Okay. Interesting. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Alright, I thought maybe we'd get some more information about the, uh, about the setup. Uh, the last corpse is up top, which is a long way to go. The other two haven't spoken, so I think I'll probably call that good enough. No one stops and me then, yet. we probably use a short rest here, but let's, breathing. let's talk to Carlotch. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. That's okay. Uh, how could you withstand the heat? Hear that. Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Okay. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Okay. That's a, that's a good warning. You have a mechanic for your heart. Or what does the engine allow you to do? Burn, She'll start with that. Baby. As hot as I can tolerate. Makes me a beast in battle. Hardly remember what I was like before it. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the scar show for later. After we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. Okay. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things if I can find him. Okay. Interesting. Ah, uh, there's some tieflings holed up in the Druid's Grove. We might look there. That's Sounds a like a good lead. Hopefully our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. Okay. We're done talking. Let's, uh... We'll do... We'll do Song of Rest to heal ourselves. Feeling fresh. That feels a lot better. Link everybody up, and let's, uh, let's check out the ornate...